Go live. Go live. Go live. <laughs> I am live. Yes, I am, because it says end live video on the thing, so I will end in due course. So here we are. Morning, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. It's weather's cheering up a little bit, which is good. But, uh, good morning. Sue's going to be first in the gate. Uh, have I definitely got my volume up? Let me just double check. There's lots of things to double check. Yes, I have. That's good. Excellent. Good. Well, good morning to whoever's out there. <laughs> so this first part is just kind of like very interesting because you just there's no you have no idea. Oh, now I can see there's six people, but I don't know who you are yet. So I'm going to have to turn my phone on again and see if it. Uh, See if it will play ball. Um, so I can't say hello to anyone at the moment because I don't know if anyone's out there. Mm -hmm. So I've got other various things. Nope, it doesn't seem to work. Do a refresh on that. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Yes, okay. I've got some good mornings and things. Right, so if I do that, I can actually see it I think oh no now I've got double sound now that's no good because I get to listen to the thing 30 seconds after oh it's just anyway good morning Isaac Isaac Kapaya nice to see you Isaac we must get you to do another 10 at 10 we'd like that that'd be great morning James and Leslie and my other Leslie Leslie's upstairs good morning Dave and Susie and uh morning Chaz and Lynette and Sue and Anne actually there's it's quite good doing it a slight delay in getting going because I can do lots of good mornings afterwards. Morning Tup, uh, Marion, who else is there? Yep, I think I've, I've covered it so far. Morning Clive, which will come to you in just a moment. Um, yeah, good morning. I'm just having a quick crafty cup of coffee. Mmm. Bought a coffee machine about two years ago. And uh, Costas have missed out ever since. I buy my Costa beans and it's much cheaper. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper. But it uh, tastes almost exactly the same. Not exact, not perfectly the same because I'm not one of these proper barrister, bar baristas. I, I kind of, it confused me when I first came across the word barista as opposed to barrister because I was thinking, how come these guys who are highly intelligent and qualified are working in coffee shops? And then I realized my mistake. Anyway, there you go. Um, well, it's nearly 10 o'clock. Just to um, just for your information, I think there's been a, a link set up on the Facebook page for those who want to remember Sandra Platz. It's her funeral today. But we're going to, it's a Thanksgiving today because she's with the Lord. And um, so we are today um, celebrating, remembering her, um, and we're going to be over at the cemetery burying her. So. But we know that about the resurrection of the dead, that uh, this is not the end. And that's a, it's a great source of joy and hope for those who are going to be genuinely grieving. So do please pray for John Platts and the family. And um, we're back at the building about half past 12 or so. And that's going to be live streamed. So there's a link that you can pick up. I'm sure we've sent, it, sent that out. Um, yeah, it's going to be live streamed, not on Facebook, but on YouTube, YouTube Live. Um, yeah, so... Do pray for us as we're trying to minister to people who are uh, grieving the loss of a very dearly loved wife and uh, uh, a beloved uh, mother and grandmother. So, morning Vic. I'll just say good morning to a few other people. Morning Nick and Irene. And who else have we got? Judy. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Helen Jane. Helen Jane, that's... Helen Jane is... Helen Jane is... Someone's going to tell me in a minute. <laughs> morning, Sandy. Morning, Malcolm. Uh, and morning, Irene. Special shout out for Irene. Right, enough to do. It's gone 10 o'clock. So what I'm going to do now is going to go straight over to the lovely Clive. Good morning. I used to have a dog called Tim. He was a beautiful golden retriever. And one day I bought him a wobbly ball. The ball had a lump inside that caused it to wobble. I'd throw the ball and it would bounce unpredictably. 
It would go off in all directions. He loved it and he loved to chase it. I mention this because our prayer life can be a bit like this, bouncing around unpredictably, wobbling all over the place. Now, it's natural to bring our biggest concerns to God. And actually, he loves that. And this is illustrated in Mark 10, verse 51, where a blind man comes to Jesus. Now, Jesus knows he's blind. It's obvious. But Jesus says to him, what do you want me to do for you? Why would Jesus say that? Well, the reason is because it's so important that we ask Jesus for help. We need to recognise our dependence upon him. Why doesn't Jesus just help us without us having to ask? Well, he does that all the time. But the point is he wants us to ask because he wants a relationship with us. He made us for a relationship with him. So let's go back to my dog's wobbly ball. It was wobbly because the centre of gravity wasn't actually in the centre. It was off centre. And often when we pray, we centre our prayers around ourselves. And that's quite natural. We all do it. But what if we centred our prayers around God? My question to you today is, are you interested in a prayer that can change your life? If you are, try this. Begin each day by finding a quiet spot and ask God these questions. Lord, how can I love you today? What acts of worship can I do today? What words can I utter that will honour and bless you? What acts of service can I do to represent your love? Holy Spirit, inspire me in my prayers today. Ask and then wait on the Lord for answers. Wait in stillness and silence and expect an answer. Now, do you see the difference? We're coming not with our shopping list. We're not asking God to prioritise our needs. If you put God at the centre, you will find something happening within your soul. You'll find that worship becomes your lifestyle. You'll find that your faith becomes less centred on you and more centred on God. You will find that the greatest commandment to love God with all your heart, all your soul, strength and mind becomes your greatest desire. You will experience his love in deeper ways than ever before. When we pray like this, we agree with God on his high, highest, highest priorities for our lives. We spend so much time asking him to meet our perceived needs. And yet we miss our real need. Our real need to know him in intimacy, to adore him in worship and to put him first in our lives. That is our real need. And once that need is met, putting him first, then all the other needs are put into place. Try praying like this for several days in a row. See how God answers your prayers and make it a priority each day to live for him. His love is enduring. His fellowship is sweet. He is really all we need. So what have we learned? That wobbly prayers are okay. That Jesus loves us to come to him and pour out our problems. And we should continue doing that. But when we deliberately place him right in the centre of our prayers, it changes our perspective. It enables God to direct us and takes us to a deeper level with him. Would you pray with me a simple prayer, please? Jesus, help me to place you at the centre of my prayers, knowing that you already know what is best for me. Help me to draw strength from you alone. I want to be available in your service. Help me to wait on you for answers. Lead me in your ways. 
Amen. Thank you. Wonderful. Clive, thank you so much. Um, there's just wisdom, such wisdom there in uh, that simple way of praying, asking God to just to, just to be the center, really. It, um, there are some verses that are worth learning and memorizing, and um, Matthew 6, 33 is a good one uh, to help us in all of life. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these other things, they will they'll sort themselves out. They will be added to you, Jesus said. And so it's really prioritizing the kingdom of God first. And that's a great way of doing it, just to come simply and praying that way. Lord, what, what's on your heart for me today? Lord, what do you want me to do today? I think um, Ray Lowe used to say that um, uh, the guy who's over in Korea, what's his name? Yonggi Cho used to say, Lord, I'm just your servant. What do you want me to do today? So let's, um, let's do that. Let's make sure we're doing that uh, today. And have a great day, everyone. Um, and do pray for us as, uh, as we go and uh, say our farewells uh, to Sandra. We'll see her again in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. So God bless you. Have a great day.